that he take away the serpents from Moses, us. Moses, pray to the Lord now and tell him to take away these snakes from us, man. We're dying. Go ahead and read. Then Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. He told Moses to make a fiery serpent. Go ahead. And set it upon a pole. And set it upon that pole. This would be with a fiery serpent mm -hmm. set upon that pole. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass. And this will happen. That everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. So what? Shall, shall live. live. Shall what? Shall, shall live. live. Shall be healed. Now, if you notice on the back of the ambulance, you know, on the, around a truck, they got that fiery serpent around the staff. Uh -huh. They got that from us. And they get everything from us. That's right, right, right. Now, because of that, read what you got. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 15. Bring it up. Yet also I lifted up my hand unto them in the wilderness, that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them. The Lord but, said, because they murmured against me, I ain't bringing y'all into the land filled with milk and honey. I was going to take y'all out of out of slavery, out of captivity. You seen my power when y'all walked through all that water. Shalom, King. Good seeing you, brother. I got lifted up all that water. Y'all walked through. Y'all started murmuring against me. I mean, you know what? I ain't giving y'all that land filled with milk and honey now. Go ahead. Flowing with milk and honey, which is the glory of all lands, because they despise thy judgments and walk not in the, my statutes, but polluted my Sabbath. For their heart went after their idols. Went after their idols, because why? When Moses came down from Mount Sinai, we was worshiping the golden calf. Go ahead and read that off. Book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 2. Bring it up. And the whole congregation Exodus of the children 40, of Israel 45. murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And that's what we read about, but go ahead and read. And the children of Israel said unto them, would to God, Salakia, would to God we have died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into the wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. You brought us all the way in the wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger? That's what that, going back to that complaining, go ahead. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. See that? So the Lord fed us, right? He gave us drink, right? And I read that to let you know that we're going in the second wilderness and our people are going to be doing the same thing, murmuring and complaining. So how about we read about that right now? So go ahead and read. Lord. Uh, what I call? Ex oh, I call Exodus. Give me no, Ezekiel 20 and that verse 35. Like, that sound like the music industry right now. Right? Now check this out, though. Check this out. Check this out. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. Now this wilderness has not happened yet. It's a prophecy that's about to take place our generation our generation read it again for me up huh? ezekiel chapter 20 verse 35 bring it up and i will bring you into the wilderness of the people and there will i plead with you face to face he said what will i plead with you right. face to face so the lord gonna plead with us face to face in this new wilderness why because i've been told you before this place is going to be destroyed missiles is going to be coming in but the chariots angels drive them it's going to deliver us out to take us to the wilderness. That wilderness, we don't know where it's at. It's an undergoed location, right? That nobody on earth know, but we're going to be safe at, right? And what we going to do? Complain over there. But go to read. Like as I plead with you, with your fathers, in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, said the Lord God. Same way I played it with. The people back in Egypt, when Moses delivered y'all, so would I plead with y'all in this new Egypt. Go ahead. And I will cause you. Like the wilderness, I'm sorry, not Egypt, wilderness. Go ahead. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. He's going to bring us into the bond of the covenant. Let's find out what that covenant is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Right? 
Let's find out what that is then. Oh, crazy. Right? I thought she was talking about Let's get some understanding. Go ahead, Henry. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the day comes, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. That's that covenant that he was just talking about over here. Now he's going to make a new covenant with the, with who? With the house of Israel. All 12 tribes of the house of Israel. Go ahead and read. And with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. Now, when you say Israel and Judah, meaning kingdoms, because we had a split. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi is known as the southern kingdom. Ephraim on down is the northern kingdom. Okay? That's why I said, read that one more time straight through for me, y'all. Come on. Book of Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he says, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. It ain't going to be the same covenant that he made with our forefathers, Moses, and then when they was in the wilderness. Go ahead. And the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant. We broke that covenant. All right, go ahead. And regarded them not, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Now, I, this is the covenant that I'm going to make with the house of Israel in this new um, wilderness. Go ahead. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind. You're going to do what? I will put my, my laws, laws in their mind. I'm going to put his laws into our mind. So we ain't going to be out here to wake you up and show you about the 613 commandments. Because you're going to already know. Each and every one of our people that go to the wilderness is going to automatically know the law. Why? Because it's going to be in our airport park. That's what he said. So we ain't going to be able to teach each other. We're going to know. I ain't going to be able to tell you. Yo, you know you got to wear fringes. You gonna... I know we got to wear fringes. You see what I'm saying? Because we're not allowed to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. We didn't touch on that. They ain't going to be able to come to you in the wilderness talking about, you know you can't eat shrimp, pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You gonna... <laughs> ain't no lake around. Come. You know what I'm saying? So we got to understand these things. He's going to put the laws in our airport park when we're in this new wilderness, King. That's the covenant that he made with us. Same way he kept making covenants with us and we cut breaking them. The covenant that he made back then, that's different from the covenant now. Another topic is, he made a covenant that he won't flood the earth. That covenant was the rainbow. He gave us the boat. When you read about oh. the book of Genesis chapter 9 and verse 12. Right, right. That rainbow is a reminder that he will not flood the earth again. That's right. But he will destroy this earth with fire this that's time. Right, right. That's that covenant that he's going to, he made with us that this world will be destroyed by fire. And they got the nukes ready on standby right now. All you got to do is look up YouTube and touch on Vladimir Putin touch on the Russians and see how he constantly threatened in this place, how he gonna take it out in under an hour. Calm. Welcome to reality. Welcome to the truth. King stunned right now. King stunned right, right now. That's, that's what that's the truth do to us. Right. Oh, no, this shit right. No, this shit right. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely got some news I can use. There's some things that I'm still uncertain about. I'm not gonna say I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, you just gotta get to understand that. Right, right, you. right, right, right. I don't know. I'm gonna pull up some other times. Maybe y'all still out here. Well, in the meantime, it's a YouTube channel, WFI Pittsburgh. You go on that, and it's a lot of videos. You can learn a whole lot on there. Just, just, just click on the videos that you want to hear about, that you need knowledge on, and you can learn that way as well. And whenever you have questions, we here every Sabbath day. Right, right. Two till whenever, King. All right, brother. I'm going to think of some stuff. There's okay. some stuff that I need to know. All praise. That I definitely need to understand. And that's what we out here for, to give our people the understanding. I appreciate it. What's your name, uh, King? My name is L.O. L.O. I'm Obadiah. You good meeting you, King. All praise. 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 All that spirit resonate with God's spirit. Hey, give me that in the book of Romans real quick. Chapter 8 and verse 16, Hebrew. Uh, Romans 8 and 16, man. The spirit bear record with God's spirit. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Go ahead. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Hey, you think the Lord going to have his spirit into a heathen and they, they, they just hearkening unto the word like that? No. Uh, he just don't hearken to the word. Why do you think they so damn wicked? Because they can hearken to the word. They was made to be wicked, so the wicked shall do wickedly. Right. Even in the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 10, Hebrew. Uh -huh. Daniel 12, verse 10. Read that one more time for me, y'all. Romans chapter 7 and verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Because we are the children of God. See that? 
That spirit will bear record with our spirit. Now, brother's spirit bear record. The brother, he just came to just, you know what I'm saying, check us out, but he couldn't leave. He was stuck. And I'm starting to notice that more and more, the more of these scriptures coming out these last days, the, the people that the Lord chose and called to come up, they be growing to leave, but they can't leave. They be stuck. We've been witnesses for a few weeks, several weeks now, right? Because the Lord is bringing his remnant back in. He's bringing them back home. Right? That brother going to go study, man. And that brother going to go to the research, man. Right? Go to what you got. In the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. Bring it out. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Many shall be purified and made white. And they're going to be tried. Go ahead. But the wicked. But the who? But the, the wicked, wicked shall do what? Shall do wickedly. But the wicked is still going to do wickedly, man. Right? But the righteous is going to come home and they're going to put their face in this book. They're going to want that understanding. See, when you get spiritual fed, man, you want more. That's hey, right. you know, he's he going to get hungry. When he get hungry, he's going to want to eat again. Hey, we hate, hey, brothers get agitated on empty stomach, man. Uh -huh. Hey, brothers, you pump a brother stuff on his shoes, he ready to punch you in the face and shoot you. Uh -huh. Only because he hungry. But hey, that brother going to get hungry, man. And guess what? He going to pick up this book, Lord willing. He may even come back and see us, Lord willing. He may bump heads with another camp that giving him the understanding he understand that breakdown and clean to them brothers. Uh -huh. We don't know what the Lord got in store for our people, but it's our job to plant the seed so we come out week in and week out to do just that. You read right. in the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, Hebrew, right? It's the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. Read nice and loud for me, Yach. From, from that time, Yahweh began to preach. And to say, repent. What do you say? Repent. repent. What do you say? Repent. repent. For what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. From all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Barak Adam. All glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. With that said, I say Shalom. Shalom.